Hey everybody, we are here talking a little Battlefield Bad Company 2 with Patrick Bach from DICE. So, Patrick, the big deal with Battlefield, the first Bad Company really, is that you introduced that really fun storyline, but you guys still managed to capture a lot of that fun Battlefield magic in the multiplayer. Tell me, what are you guys trying to do with the multiplayer in Bad Company 2? So, first of all, we're trying to make everything that was really good, make it even better. So a lot of people felt, for instance, that you know it's really cool with destruction and all. You can blow up stuff that you haven't done before in any game, but people want more, of course. So what we did was we added the, you know, what we call a full spectrum of destruction, uh, where you can not only chip away pieces from small covers, but you can also take down buildings completely now and just turn it into rubble. A lot more destruction on a small scale and a big scale too? Yes, absolutely. You know, we, we, we call it Destruction 2.0 because we kind of set the bar with the first game and now we're taking it a, a huge step forward with that. Let's talk about what you guys are showing here. It's the, uh, the rush gameplay mode, that sort of momentum based mode where you're, you're pushing forward as the attackers and the defenders and it's on the, uh, the Port Valdez map. Can you describe that for us? Uh, the Port Valdez map is, is a map that is in, a, in Alaska, so it's snowy and it's cold and it's very industrial. It's based on an oil pipeline that you need to defend, or if you're a Russian you need to attack it. Uh, so you have all these cool vistas and you have all this the theme of, of the old oil pipeline. And the gameplay is, is very vehicle heavy, so there's a lot of uh, vehicles that you have seen and vehicles that you haven't seen before. For instance, we have quad bikes. We have AA vehicles and we have a Black Hawk that you can have, you, know, you have one pilot and you can have four people in it. Uh, and you can also have two gunners with uh, one minigun each, which is awesome. It's, you can just wreak havoc with it. I definitely had a lot of fun cruising around on that quad. It didn't do too well. I kept crashing into stuff, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, the other big part of your multiplayer is um, the, uh, the class selection, the kit selection. What sort of changes have you made to that this year to make it a little bit more customizable? Uh, we actually cut out one class, but that doesn't mean that you have less to pick from because all classes now have custom customizable slots. So you don't only have one weapon and one main gun, one secondary gun, you can actually s select between a lot of guns. And you will unlock guns as you go along and progress through the game. Uh, you can also have more uh, gadgets and what we call specializations, which we'll talk about more later. So besides weapons and vehicles, have you guys tinkered with the multiplayer in any, any other ways that we should be aware of? Uh, we mentioned that we're deepening the, the uh, persistence a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. It's, it's huge this time around. Uh, there's also a new game mode, which I won't reveal now, but that's also really, really cool. Um, we have bigger maps. They are, you know, look better. We have a new render that looks even better than the first one, so we just evolved on the Frostbite engine further. Um, there are so many things. I, I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll leave it to that for now. So, uh, I, But I can't let you go without giving us a little release information. What platforms is Bad Company 2 going to be available on, and when do you expect it to be released? We are releasing the game on X360, PS3, and PC this time around, and it's due to be released in Q1 2010. All right, Patrick, thank you very much. You. That'll do it for today's look at Bad Company 2, but I'm sure we will have lots more in the upcoming weeks and months, so stick around to GameSpot.com.